Nuren Zaid, sometimes you look sin. And today, United in that second half, I mean, Nuren, first of all, Fulham lost the plot there. United just took full advantage. We probably needed a bit of luck, didn't we? Yeah, we needed the luck. Because without the red cards, I don't think so. I, there was a way we were coming back because Fulham was full on wasting time. And it was nice they were down to nine men because uh, I think uh, Sancho would have scored if William didn't handball that. So. Yeah. I mean, Zaid, uh, I've asked everyone so far what was going through the Fulham manager's head, Mitrovic's head. Even Willian said in giving the handball because Fulham are still in it, even at even at one one. You're still in the game. You've got eleven men. They'll look back on that and just think we just give that game away to Man United there. I mean, um, for teams like Fulham, this is a big opportunity. So disciplinary this situation is crucial. It is indeed, mate. I mean, it's, I, we're taking it, aren't we? I mean, they're in. You've got to look at that now, yeah. Brighton in the final. Oh, sorry, Brighton in the semi-final. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. Come on, Adam, steady on. <laughs> Brighton in the semi-final, yeah. Seville in the quarter-final. It's been a good week for Manchester United. And we go away into the international break now. Hopefully a few players get a little bit more of an extended rest. But yeah. what this does do for us, Martial, Rafael Varane, players that need that bit more time, we've got that break now in them players. And coming back, it's a tough one against Newcastle. We need to be ready. Yeah, it's not easy against Newcastle, but I think uh, moving forward, I think the international break is just going to help us. We've seen what the World Cup break has done to us. We've come back and we've won game on uh, consistently, and I think uh, the, the, the break is going to help us a lot. But uh, Newcastle isn't easy, and I think uh, they're, they're also going to come with some kind of hunger because they want to finish in the top four as well. So, yeah, I think moving on in the FA Cup, Brighton is uh, is a big team to like to get because City got Sheffield and I think it's a bit easier that way for them and I, I think they'll be in the final for sure, City. So against Brighton, we just have to do our best and hopefully we'll, it's a Manchester derby final. That's it. I mean, Zane, does it feel like the season's momentum? It, does it feel like something big is happening? Because we look dead in that game there, but. Do you just get like a vibe that Manchester United are really in for one of them seasons right now? I mean, the cup record is phenomenal. It just looks like we've just got the momentum that's going to carry us through to the end of the season, doesn't it? I mean, yeah. Um, hope, hopefully we finish top four in the summer. And, is that uh, most important for you from this point? Top four, um, now we've got the trophy. Or are you hungry for more trophies? Do you think we should be confident in getting more? We should get Europa. He wants more. He wants, he wants more. more. He wants the treble. Go on, he might as well sell it today. Go on. So, yeah, we, need, we need more trophies. It's been six years, but like um, we need more trophies. And Ten Hag has changed all the players' mentality, which is very important. And um, hopefully, in the summer, we can get the new owners in. And uh, yeah. That's it. I mean, we've got to look ahead again. Uh, we talked about the injuries and the players going forward. Now, in the football hasn't been great but we're just finding ways to win is it yeah. like what David said there it's the mentality of these players now it's the never say die um, I mean it is kind of the mentality but it's sometimes it's not a good one when you have to go down and you have to wake up to, to come back and yeah because we, we've seen that when there was one, one part of Ole's reign where he had to always go down to come back and and then later on like when they just kind of they didn't come back at times, so yeah, it's not good to go down early in the game. So yeah, and I guess yeah, about more trophies. Yeah, we we need like no disrespect to the Carabao Cup, but the FA Cup, the Europa League, just sounds like a bigger trophy, major trophies. So, well, yeah. the Europa League guarantees you Champions League, FA Cup. Well, <laughs> it's the most famous trophy in world football, you could say. So the most I mean, historic one. That's it. I mean, looking ahead now again, Manchester United. On for all fronts, still. Are you looking at this season now as a defining moment for a lot of these players going forward? If we do manage to get another trophy and top four, do you feel like there is a base here to challenge for the title next season? Definitely, yeah. I mean, a um, um, few weeks ago we were fighting for the title. Uh, we were close. But then um, with this mentality, if we carry on next season, um, definitely we can fight for the titles. And uh, we need a like, few more signings. We need like backup players and uh, yeah, I think we can. Before you go boys, man of the match each for you. It was given to Paulinho. I thought he did play well to be honest there, but I mean, 3-1 winners, it's rare that you give it to a player that's not on the winning team. Nirin, uh, any different to I'm that? Undecided between Bruno or Sabitzer, but 
Uh, I think uh, Sabitza kind of had one of his standout performance today because he scored his first goal as well, and uh, I think he, he kind of had shots from long range and shot like I saw Wakehorse shot today and I thought it was soft it was a pass to the keeper and he, he's a striker and uh, Sabitza is a midfielder and he had a pretty powerful shot and he has a great technique yeah, so I give it Sabitza yeah. are we in agreement have you got another one no, I got another one for me it's either Sancho or Bruno Sancho because <laughs> It was him that get the penalty and that's what changed the game. But like, I want to give it to Bruno because um, the small things that I saw, he was very, the leadership was very good. Um, from my point of view, he was helping McTominay out and stuff. He was helping a lot of players out. So his mentality and leadership was very important. Brilliant so stuff. Fellas, cheers for coming on. Brilliant talking to you both.